Hello. Chances are, over the United States right now, on commercial airlines, planes such as these, over 5,000 passengers have their seats reclined, most likely to the severe annoyance of the person sitting behind them. Many people argue that we should get rid of airplane seats to recline, but is there a better way to make use of that few feet of space airplanes have to seat you? In coach, they're typically about 3 to 4 feet between seats, and you'd be lucky if your seat reclined more than about 15 degrees. But, with a few adjustments, we can increase that number. First, we'll add a fixed piece to the back of the chair for the tray table. Then, we'll add a few wheels to the bottom of the frame so it can roll forward about one and a half feet. This should allow us to get a recline of about 35 degrees, a significant increase over the 15 degree one we had earlier. But if everyone just started sliding their seats forward, their legs would get crushed, right? To solve this, we'll take the life jackets, which are normally stored under the seats, and slide them up into the back of the seats, leaving plenty of leg room. All of these modifications should add up to about $60 per seat, which airlines could easily make up for by adding just $1 to the price of each ticket for just two months. Sure, it may seem like an irrelevant problem, but if no one fixes the small problems, the small problems won't be fixed. Instead of trying to change the world, why not do something more attainable? Like, making a ride on one of these more comfortable. Who knows, maybe as someone reclines on their airplane seat to take a nap, they'll dream up a cure for cancer, or think of a way to end global poverty. You never know. And thanks for watching.